Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to chapter 3 of Little Vampire. Last time we, uh... We were searching for a way to cure Mickey from her vampirism, and as we were getting close to getting a fruit that might help her, she was kidnapped by Birchsham, one of the, er I guess, the earliest Dark Lord in Rand's history, so... Let's continue, but first we'll listen to the quick summary. Let's lay it all out. Mickey had been kidnapped and needed the purification fruit to save her from the vampire curse. And the fruit was right in front of you. Hurry, or Mickey will become an evil queen. Devil voice. Look around, and you'll see you've lost all your stuff. Think about how to get the tools you need from the goddess instead. Angel voice. You can do it! Fight, fight, fight! Let's return to the dame. Hurry, come back, blink blink. Ah, you're alive. I blinked away, sleep, and saw Linda, the sherp shepherdess in front of me. Yo, Chad sheep lover. Linda. Alright. Talk to Linda. Where am I? You're in my hut. Gah, my whole body is throbbing. Don't overdo it, you're still healing. Think. If you think twice and then use kiss or embrace, you will get a game over. Well, we're pretty early, so we might as well do it. Did I? I must have lost the fight against the guy and Mickey was kidnapped. They wanna wanted to reign as some sort of evil queen. I have to help her. Can I even help Mickey any longer? Maybe it would be a good idea to give up and live with this girl and her sheep. <laughs> that was fast. I don't have any way to rescue Mickey. I'll, I'll do it. I'll live this in this world with Linda. I kissed her. Happy end! You'll stay with me? Yes, yeah, so I'll stay here in this world with you and the sheep. I'll be a wonderful bride. Thank you for playing, but game over. Damn. Haha, <laughs> game over, sucker. Try again and do your best. Load. I go back the last time I slept. Alright, here we are. So we talked with Linda. You're in my hut. Don't overdo it. You're still healing. Think once. We already did this, so now we talk to Linda again. Talk to sheep. Dwa, dwa, dwa. I don't really know what they're saying. I'll translate. They said, hello, we're the sheep. Really? We'll talk to Linda. Do you know what happened to Mitty? The girl who was with you yesterday? I don't know. I found you alone by the riverside. The riverside? That's right. How did I get from the far side of the shining field? Or how did I get there from the far side of the shining field? Asked about Mickey. Is, Mickey, is she... I don't know. I found you alone. Sorry, I don't know anything about it. Where are we now? We're at my house. How did... What the fuck? The sheep! How did I fall? You fall by the river. Shit, shit, sheep number 12, 22... Was the one who found you? Thank you, Shid Shid. How long was I unconscious? You've been asleep for two days. Two whole days. Alright, now we will leave. And big notice here. Not to help Mitty. Thank don't overdo it. No, I have to help Mitty now. Thank you for all your help. Don't push yourself too hard. I'll wait for you. Damn, she likes him, huh? Sorry. We already did your route. Don't go near Dracula's castle. There's nothing to do there or at the old hut nearby, and it would actually be dangerous to go near Dracula's castle from the hill more than once, since the Zashiki Warashi will show up and steal critical items if you visit multiple times. The cycle was reset by giving items to the goddess below, and that's a bad thing. Lose even one and you're dead ended. Alright. We'll, we'll, watch, we'll watch for the schemer. Alright, so move to the river. Look around. If you have the beanstalk at the end of chapter 2, Tentro finds it. Okay, so we're looking for our stuff. This is our riverside. Oh look, a bean plant has fallen on the banks of the river. It looks like the one I received from Floor of the Forest. Um, if you look it then, look for more stuff. Alright, oh, wrong thing. Look at the river. There's something living in the water. It's my katana. Now we swim in the river. 
to the Mickey's not here. I waited in the river, I discovered my knife in the sand, and now we will take all three. Pick up the beanstalk, yep, it's mine. Pick up the katana, and take the knife back. Alright, optional. Yo, optional! Okay. Dead ground. No sooner I had... Had I started to did when I discovered my old rope just underneath the surface. Nice. Rotate the rope. I pulled the rope out of the mud. Now we'll go back to the hill. And move to the waterfall. If you talk to Linda after thinking in our hut, seeing the waterfall will allow you to talk to her again. Uh. Alright. We'll go to the waterfall. Hello, the goddess is still there. Hello again, the goddess bowed lightly as I greeted her. But what happened to the young woman who was with you before? I feel a wrench at my heart and get straight to the point. Mickey has been kidnapped by monsters. Oh, do not be afraid, I'm sure you'll see another again. To watch all the waterfalls in the world, just you watch? I don't actually have any powers. Oh, well. According to the legend, the title was given to the most powerful of all evil princesses. Alright, so with her, we... So we can talk to Linda again after, but apparently we throw away the rope. You can also throw the katana to the goddess, but this will be a dead end to you. So we throw away the rope and we get a squeaky hammer. That lets us quit save, I think. After I threw that item in the waterfall, the goddess appeared carrying two items in her hand. Which one of these did you throw? Squeaky hammer. So the hammer is what you threw away? I got a squeaky hammer from the goddess. There we go, we cheesed it. Um, I guess we'll go talk to Linda again. Uh, wait, I don't even get there. Hermit's home, castle. Oh, I guess you can't go back. Where's the hut? There's Linda. You can talk to her again. There, she gave me a small fruit as she taught. This is petrification fruit. I had no idea what it was. You were holding it tightly in your hand when I found you. This is exactly what I need. Wait, why is this not an option? Oh, this was something else. Oh, I did this. I did this too fast. Okay, wait. Let me let me go outside. Thanks for the fruit. Uh, first we go to the hermit's home. Okay. Now we climb the ladder. I tried to climb the ladder, but even though I seemed to get higher and higher, I never got any closer to the top. After a while, I gave up and turned back. I guess the hermit won't see me without any alcohol. And now we go back to Linda's hut. And that's where you get the alcohol. Okay. Asked about the sake. I'm trying to find a place to get sake. Oh, you're a drunk. Gwa gwa, sound of the sheep. I'm not the one who's drinking it. I needed to talk to the hermit. <laughs> well, I, since I don't drink sake. Linda crouched a little and took a bottle from under the bed. Here, you can have it instead. Why do you have sake if you don't like sake? I got the bottle. Easy. Now we go back to the hermit. Climb. Ah, the boy from before. The hermit approached with a smile. What do you want to hear this time? Uh, talk. Please, help me. Mickey has been kidnapped by monsters. What do you want me to do about it? I want you to tell me where she's being held and how I can rescue her. The hermit leaned into his staff and thought for a long while. You want to rescue her? Absolutely. First, you should bear in mind that, mit that your Mickey may be beyond help. 
Without their mistress, the monsters have gone out of control. In order to stand together, they need a new sovereign, and they've chosen one of the ones who inherited Dracula's blood, Mickey Caruso. There's no way a sweet and kind person like Mickey would become a queen of monsters. The hermit pointed with his staff and cast some manner of spell. A hole opened in the cloud where he pointed and gave a view of the world below. Can you see that tower? I could. A tower that stood amid a, a deep forest. She's there. She's not in Dracula's castle? If even the kindest person in the world stayed three days in that tower, their heart and mind would be turned towards evil. They will hold her there until then. Two days have already passed. Mickey will be overcome by evil? Once she is completely tainted by evil, she will become the next archfiend, Little Princess. How can I get to that tower? There's no other way I have to get there. There's no other way I have to get there. There is a mysterious power in that tower. Be warned, when you come out of the tower, even you will be consumed by wickedness. I'm still going. My decision was firm. So be it. Follow the river north around five kilometers. There you will find the forest. If you can pass through the other side, you'll find the tower. But I warn you again, it may already be too late for Mickey Karusu. Give sake. I gave the sake I brought to the hermit. Thank you. It's important to have fun as you get older. The hermit took a flute out of his pocket and gave it to me. This is... The hermit gave me a cheap bamboo flute. This flute is well used. I don't need it any longer. Thank you for the sake. So, is it useful for anything? <laughs> Alright, with that... Oh, wait, no, we can still talk to him. We'll ask her about Wood... Or, ask her about Dracula. 200 years ago, Dracula kidnapped a young woman from town. Her name was Chio Lana. He intended to make her into the next little princess, but she wasn't strong enough for it. Her health failed and she died there, locked away in the tower. Ask Tower, you can repeat this for additional info. Okay. What can you tell me about the tower? 200 years ago, the tower was a church. The good bishop Lanier had granted sanctuary to Kiolana, and the monsters attacked. In wake of their onslaught, it became a nest of evil spirits. <coughs> the tower is said to be guarded, but no guards have ever been seen. Ooh. Any who enter the tower are overcome and gain an evil heart. That is all I know. Okay, thank you. Asked about alternative dimension. I suppose I can tell you. If you manage to rescue your friend, search the tower for a certain machine. It will help you return to your dimension. A machine? What the heck? Alright, that's all we got, so we will leave. It's time for leave. Thank you're leaving? Thank you for teaching me. Hmm, I went back down the ladder. Perfect. And now we're going to the graveyard for some reason. Graveyard. It's a lonely graveyard. Push grave. Excuse me? Oh, it's so heavy I couldn't move it. Let's try this, a different one. Ha! Oh, this one moved. Um. Look, grave. If you had the black gemstone at the end of chapter 2, it will be rediscovered here. Oh, perfect. A familiar black shiny jewel was found in the gap between the graves. I moved earlier. Take it? I retrieved the sparkling jewel. Yes, this is definitely the one I had before. How did I get back here? And now we're going to the woods. Get to the tower. Wait, move hill, move river, move woods. Ooh, pink woods. I went on towards the forest. A creepy darkened forest. This is the only way to the tower, so I have to push on whether I like it or not. Advance into the forest. Uh, make sure you have the following items. Purification fruit, the flute, the katana, the knife, the beanstalk, the bladron stone. Also, the streaky hammer is very helpful. It's time you enter the woods, which is filled with traps. Basically a maze. You want to save the streaky hammer. Save with the streaky hammer before going in. 
Uh, since there are several instant death ambushes, you must use the flute while in the forest to navigate safely after moving past the entrance once the music change. After the first screen, you can use look trees to see your position on the grid. The map here shows the forest at March's starting position before the coordinates show up. Zero marks safe rooms, at marks instant death, and marks an encounter with a ghostly Mickey that will steal the purification fruit if you have it that end ending the game, after which you will appear at 2-7. T marks the tower. The walkthrough shows the simplest road. I mean, I guess we don't really need it, but... Let's go. Wait, I should use it first? Use squeaky hammer. I bashed myself over the head with the squeaky hammer. Game saved! Whoa, how long was that? Alright. So we move east. Well, I mean, I mean, I'm just following the diet. I don't really care about this. Again. But there is a maze, and you'd probably have to do a lot of, like, testing and mapping to not fuck it up. I went toward the east. This is a deep forest. Use flute. Now you can navigate the maze properly. I blew the flute from the hermit. Whistle. The sound of the flute echoed through the woods. Move north. Move north. I know you guys want to see me suffer. I refuse. Move north. Move north. This is the deep forest. Move north. Move west. Move west. Move... Hopefully I didn't fuck this up. Move west. No! A surly monster appeared before me last shot before I even rat stopping me dead in the traps. Okay, never mind. I somehow fucked up. How? So we start by moving east. I gotta count this. We use the flute. Thank god I saved. Now we move north. One, two, three, four, five times. Okay. I think I missed a north. One, two, three. Three, four, five, move west four times. One, two, three, four. Beautiful. And this was actually like a pretty simple combination, but I'm sure as you're playing, you'll probably like go different ways too. Like doing something simple like that is actually like not expected. Uh, if you are at the base, you are now at the base of the tower, you can save here using the save menu command. Even if you don't have the sweetie hammer. Alright, I'll save here, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay, this will be a three episode thing, because we're already done chapter three, basically. Yeah, we'll just finish it off with a big shablam. So apparently to enter, we need to show the black gemstone. I showed the black gemstone to the door. Ah, this is a heart of pure evil. Yes, go into the tower and train. The door opened and I went inside. I'm on the tower's first floor. All right, now that we're in the tower. So I guess this is still technically part of chapter three. So it kind of makes sense. Uh, we throw away the black gemstone. Yes, get rid of it. Okay. I shut the black stone. As soon as I threw it away, it seemed to suddenly fly. Before it could blink, it vanished into the distance. Move up, move up, move room. Move up. Climb the stairs to the second floor. I'm on the tower's second floor. Climb the climbed up to the third floor. I'm on the tower's third floor. Move room. I went through the door. A room on the third floor. Do not read the black book. If you do, it will kill you. Okay. We will read the green book. Because green is always good. Let's read one of the green books. The title is Kiel Lana. As soon as I opened the book, I was overcome by a green light. What? Well, where? Oh shit, we're tripping out. Look at things eight times in total. Other commands also work, but... Don't move to another pillar. Okay, look around. One. I'm in a space as wide as infinity. A number of stone columns extend up from the void. Each about two meters in diameter. I'm standing on top of one. It's terrifying to look down. The darkness just goes on and on. That actually sounds pretty terrifying. 
Look up. There's no ceiling, no sky, so this is two. I can't see how it goes. Look down for three. It's terrifying to look down. The darkness just goes on and on. Look columns. It seems to be made of stone. There's numbers cracks. That's four. This is five. Look at cracks. There's several cracks running along the column I'm using as a platform. Hello? I guess that's six. Echo. Hello, hello. I don't think anyone can talk. Alright. Let's read a book. There's no book here. So I think... Think. Is there anything out here at all? So now I think if you look around, it'll work. It's impossibly wide out there. Is there a way to escape this place? Wait, something is coming. A vision of a woman appeared in front of me. My name is Kiolana. I've heard of Kiolana somewhere. Yes, that's right. She lived 200 years ago. She was going to be made the next little princess. I looked at her. This must be Kiolana. She seems to be made out of a vision. Asked about Mickey. I'm sorry if I, that if I had become Little Princess, nothing would have happened to Mickey. I'm sorry, but I couldn't become that monster. My name is Kiolana. I asked Kiolana about Dracula. I was bitten by Dracula when I was 12 in the spring. Since then, I haven't died and my body hasn't changed. I hid everywhere, everything from my family. But once I turned 13, I began to develop vampiric powers. I could destroy things without touching them. I knew everything without having to study. I had heightened senses and could be professional athletes at their best sports, but all I wanted was to be human. Ah. You came from another dimension? Unfortunately, I don't know anything about that some sort of thing. I'm, I know longer age. The tower used to be a church. Bishop Lanier took me in when I fled. They turned this into a monster's hellhole. Okay, now we talked to her. What, what's happening to me? I don't know where it came from, but I heard the voice of Kiolana like a bell. You're gonna help Mickey Kurusu. She became the little princess instead of me. Yes, I want to help her, but how? If you want to help her, kill her with your own hands. I can't kill Mickey. You can't save her no matter how hard you try. Why? The only way to save her is to kill her. You were supposed to become little princess because you didn't. Mickey was taken instead. It's not like it's her fault, but I couldn't help saying it. I listened to her voice again. I had no choice. If I became a master vampire, the world would suffer in darkness. The only way to save us is death. Killer, there's no other way to save her. Take this crystal. I was suddenly holding a shining crystal in my hand. What is this? What does it mean? Kiolana disappeared without answering my question. I opened my eyes and found myself in the study, where I, I checked. But when I checked my hand, there's no sign of the crystal. Read the red book. Okay, new book. I read one of the red books. The title is Red Water. As soon as I opened the book, I was blinded by a red light. I'm in front of a creepy swamp. Oh shit. Look, swamp. Do not drink. Drink? This water's too muddy to drink, don't they? Look, swamp. It's muddy, seamlessly bottomless swamp. Oh, hit swamp. What the heck? Blish blish. I hit the surface of the swamp, but no water splash. Instead, a strong ripple began to flow through the thick mud. The red swamp is flow. The redstone. A redstone is floating in the swamp. I guess it rose to the surface when I hit the swamp. Yoink! I stretch out my hand to take out the to take the redstone. Um. Take redstone. Enter swamp. I stepped out into the swamp, but before I had taken my third step, I slipped and fell into the muck. Then I began to sink down into the disgusting water, swamp water. And even though I struggled, within two minutes it had swallowed my entire body. When I opened my eyes, I was back in the study. The, re the red stone was gone. A room on the third floor. Alright, so we're here. So now we will read the red book again. 
I can... I read one of the red books. The title is Red Water. I can use the water. The page just started like that. What is this book? My tears are red. I can use these tears to wash away my enemies. Most of the other pages are covered in indescribable indecipherable characters but there's something on the last page to use the redstone be warned it can only be used once grasp the redstone with your right hand and throw it to the ground a miracle will save you there's nothing else i can read in here all right so now we will move to the hall i left the room and returned to the hall i'm on the tower's third floor we'll move up I ascended to the fourth floor. There seems to be the top of the f tower, but where's Mickey? We will now hit the wall three times. Pan Pan hitting the wall. Poof poof. Ban Ban. Poof poof. Ban Ban. Jingle. I heard something. Look at the floor. It seems. It seems that. Y that sound you heard when you hit the wall was the sound of something falling. There's a key amidst the dust. I will tape the key. Yoink. Pick up the key off the floor. And then we're gonna go downstairs to the third floor and to the second floor. And we will use the key somewhere, I guess. I use the key to unlock the door. We will now move to the room. That we just unlocked. Nice. Oops, sorry. Boom. As soon as I unlocked, I opened the unlock door and went in. As soon as the door opened, a woman's voice stopped. There is a small room. A girl sits on the bed. Flip to there. Girl seems cold, like a machine. Not warm, like a living thing. Specialist eyes stared back at mine. Um, talk. I am the guardian of this tower. The girl speaks with an echoing voice. Ask Mickey. Do you know Mickey? She's a cute girl with pink hair. Mickey? I do not know. Name? Net aim? Dracula? Can you tell me about anything about Dracula? He is in a deep slumber. I heard there's a machine in this tower that can bring you to another dimension. Do you know anything about it? Learn for yourself. Go and see. Age? Oops. Hobbies. Hobbies? <laughs> tower, here's what we're talking about. Tell me about the tower. You will soon understand. And we do it again. Is this tower four stories tall or is there more? You will now know the way to the upper level. Upper level. And with that, we move to the hall. And then we move down to the first floor. And now we'll go to the room there. I open the door and enter the room beyond. A room on the first floor. And in the room... We will open a drawer. I guess that one. Crete, I opened the door with a horrible noise. A crystal lay inside. And we will yoink the crystal. This was the crystal. I was given by Keolana. Okay, this is the green crystal. I am Keolana. I will aid you. It seems the crystal contains the soul of Keolana. I took it out of the drawer. And with that, we will move to the hall. And we'll go back to the third floor. Make sure you have the purification fruit, the flute, the katana, the knife, the crystal, the beansot, and that you don't have the black gemstone. Yep. Looking good. Uh... Move up. If you don't have the crystal, or if you do have the black gemstones, you would get a game over. Okay, move up. I ascended the fourth floor. When I reached the top of the stairs, an entirely different room stood in front of me. This isn't the old floor. Am I still even in the tower? As I stepped forward, I felt a sudden chill. Nicely done, boy. 
The man who kidnapped Mickey, Ramon C. Bircham. Come with me, we'll see little princess together. Ramon offered me his hand. Our little princess is just ahead. Soon, our armies will rule the world. And when she rules over all, you and I will serve her. His voice was hypnotic. The air felt thick and I felt drugged. Did I come here to help Mickey or did I come here to serve her? What are you pondering? You were born to serve the Archfiend little princess like myself. My head is fuzzy. What's the truth? Come with me. Ramon stepped closer. Don't be fooled. Crack. Keolana's crystal is broken and I suddenly return to my senses. Keolana's remnant mind. That's right, I came to help Mickey. I guess if you didn't have that or you had the black gemstone, it would convince you to serve her. Ramon took- You must come with me. I took a step back to avoid his grasping hand. I was so close, only a step away. Ramon vanished like the wind. So we will go north. If you don't have our katana, we would die. I'll go north for the time being as I moved. Ramon appeared and struck at me. I fell back to the force of his blow. So he appears when he attacks. And we'll move north again. I don't know if for the time being, this time he pounced out from the grass. He struck a glancing blow off my shoulder. Ramon disappeared before I can strike back. We will now throw the redstone. You will die if you don't have the beanstalk. Wait, oh, fight. Wait. Did I fuck up somewhere? Go north again. I'll go north for the time being. Ramon, it's hard to dodge my attack twice. It's hard. I couldn't move. Fuck. No! I should have saved. Oh, we fucked up. God damn it. Alright, I'm gonna speed run back to where we were. BRB. Alright guys, so I'm an idiot and I we actually missed a step. That's why we couldn't do anything back before. So after leaving the swamp, apparently I was supposed to uh and I just missed this step. I had to push the pitcher and take the hidden redstone. Okay, so that's why we just couldn't do anything, because we didn't have the redstone. Shit, eh? As I moved the pitcher, something fell from the gap between the pitcher and the wall. It's the redstone. Well, there's where we fucked up. We just didn't have it, huh? Anyways, I got back to where we were. Just wanted to show where we blundered. Alright, here we are. Right before we uh, go up to fight Bertram. Let's double check this time for sure. Yep, redstone. We got the crystal. It's so weird they didn't even mention the redstone and made sure you have the purification, f the flute, the katana, the knife, and the crystal, and the beanstalk. And they, you know, If they said redstone and I didn't see the redstone, I might have noticed I fucked up the first time, so... That being said, I will just squeaky hammer just in case we do fuck up somehow. Um, and yeah, let's go for it. So back here, we almost get hypnotized, but Kiolana helped us, thank you. So, now we move north. I'll go north. He attacks, we go north one more time. And now we will throw the redstone. There you go, new option. There's no way to keep dodging his attacks. I decided to follow the instructions written on in the red book and threw the redstone to the ground. The moment it struck the earth everywhere but a small patch of land around my feet was overwhelmed with a torrent of rushing blood. Oh shit. I did hear uh, Ramon shouts as he went under, but the blood was beginning to rise and my little island began to shrink. I took the beanstalk out of my bag and planted it firmly in the ground. The tree roots and vines grew at a rapid pace and carried me above the tide. Oh my god, I didn't see I didn't see him, dude. He's drowning. Bertram. Good tree good beanstalk, man. That was a good trade deal. From all the way back then. Move up. If you throw away the katana for some reason, you will die here. Let's step in the tower again. Oh shit, I began climbing the stairs. It seems like this is the real upper level. A path leading to the building over there. Animal corpses were strewn on each side of the path. 
a monster attacked. What is that thing, dude? Looking trippy. Wahaha, let me show you the right way. I shot the monster without hesitation, killing the monster with my katana. Ugh, I'm sorry. The monster vanished. I'm on the real upper level. Perfect. This is your last chance to save. I mean, I guess we'll save again. Okay. Uh, now we will move to the building. I approached the building. I walked towards the building up the carpeted path. I became certain the building was a temple. As I came closer, someone was inside and they came out toward me. Oh shit, evil Mickey. Looking at the figure, I recognized it was Mickey, but she looked wild. When I kill this man, will that be the end of today's training? Mickey addressed this strange fluffy creature that looked like an old man, but floated in the cloud like cloud in the sky. Oh, hello, I didn't see you on the schedule. Okay, okay, we'll end today's work with this one. What the hell is that? Mickey, I'm here to help you. The practice monster's talking to me. Don't worry about that, just kill it quickly. Right, Mickey attacked me. Do anything that gets Mickey to attack you six times, at which point she will use a shockwave. Be careful after the shockwave, as certain commands will kill you. Alright, so we just... Try to talk to her six times. Mickey. What can I even say? What's wrong? Come back to me. Come back with me. What are you talking about? I don't know. You're, we're supposed to fight. Mickey swung at me. I avoided her attack lightly. Ah, he's fast. Hey, you weird thing. What have you done to Mickey? Oh, it's my fault, is it? Oh, okay. That didn't make her attack. So we need five more attacks. Move back. Don't run away. Move away. I won't let you leave until we're done here. Move back. <laughs> Look around. If you won't fight me, I'll fight you. Mickey swung at me. I avoided her attack lightly. Ah, it's fast. Second attack. Look at Mickey. Mickey's trying to attack me with a sword. Mickey swung at me. I avoided her attack lightly. Ah, it's fast. Fluffy object. Okay. Hey, stop picking on him. I'm your opponent here. Mickey swung at me. I avoided her. Ah, he's fast. We do be kind of fast. I can't fight Mickey. Mickey swung at me. I avoided her attack lightly. Ah, he's fast. What can I even say? Why are you talking like this? I, I don't know. Mickey is trying to attack me with a sword. Mickey attacked again, but he managed to keep her sword away. Ah, stupid. Mickey's eyes flashed and a tremendous shockwave hit me. Gah, my whole body is throbbing. Is this the power of, of the vampires? Mickey walked slowly t in front of me. Let's end this. Mickey is about to strike the final blow. With this, we look at the old man. He's still floating around Mickey. We will look at him again. That thing is controlling Mickey. If I can kill him, maybe I can get her back to normal. And we will finally use this knife to throw it at him. Wait, how? Throw knife. Well, what should I do? You're dead. No! Oh, shit. How did I throw knife? It's in my inventory. One more, right? So we looked at the old man. We looked at the old man. Oh! Why was this option not here before? Or was it? Oh no, man. Throw the knife at it. Yes, the fruit knife. I took out the knife, aimed quickly, and threw it at the old man. Ooh. The knife embedded in him and he fell to the ground. Yeah, he's dead. Ow, what happened to me? That strange monster's dead. Kentaro, are you hurt? Oh, it's just a scratch. Oh, you're back now? Mickey looked at me with worried eyes. It looks like the real Mickey's back. Alright. Do not give the Mickey the 
purification food until instructed or you will be doomed to a game over. Fair enough. Can I just like talk to her? Where are we, Tentro? And what's happened? That's not important. Right now we need to escape. Ask machine. Mickey, do you know anything about the machine hidden in this tower? No, why would I know that? Wait, that's right, there is a machine at the back of that room. I haven't seen it, but I remember it. Move to the back room. Let's go into the back. Can you walk? Oh, don't worry. This is the back room. A strange machine takes up the entire center of the room. It's very cold here. <laughs> this is a very strange machine. Mickey, do you know how to use this thing? I don't know anything like that. Come on, Mickey, you must know something. Mickey gave it some deep thought. Yes? Yes? Do you remember anything? Yeah, well, yes, but why do I remember it? Don't worry about that. What do we do? Turn the panel to the right and then hit the machine to get it going. It seems I was right. The vampire's memory is sleeping in Mickey's mind. And now we give the purification fruit. To cure her. Mickey, eat this. This is the purification fruit. I won't have to become a vampire. Chew. It's a bit spicy, but delicious. We will now use the machine. Let's follow Mickey's instructions. I head it to the machine. First, we turn the panel to the right, kachunt, and then give the machine a solid thump. Uh, better not hit it too much. No, I'm gonna thrash it. <gasps> Baka bonk. Baka bonk. <coughs> Pity, 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 pity. The machine began to move. Mickey and I were stuck, stuck in between two electric rods. Kenta, row. The scenery looks familiar. An old, familiar park. The building beyond the park. I'm back in the real world. But where's Mickey? I used to visit this park when I was a kid. That building proves we're back in the old world. It's starting to set dazzling. There you there, that's Mickey. Ah, you're back, we're How many days has it been since we left? I better get home. I have to reassure my mom and dad that I'm alright. How about we walk together halfway? Yes. The end. We did it! Little vampire, it has been cleared. Congratulations, you cleared the game. Hmm. Angel, Baso 2. Little princess, wrote to CEO, little vampire. Hey, detective. Oh, these are the games they released? Well, that was a strange story. And the credits. Good job, Tada. There we go. Obviously, it goes a little different in the rant story, because they're still in the world. But there you go. There's somewhat the origins of a uh, little princess and Kentaro in the ranch world. It was a fun little story. I had a good time. But thank you guys for watching. As always, again, this was part of our bonus program where whenever we hit 100 subs, bonus game. So if you want to see another bonus thing to come out, uh, make sure to sub. Or, if you're already subbed, like and comment to get, uh, interaction up. And then, yeah, new new series is gonna drop. Obviously, I haven't started recording it, but I have a couple ideas what I want to do. But yeah, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this little read-through. It's been a good time. Peace.